Pusa. Brr, 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 ma. channel it's single flux here i don't know why i'm smiling so hard i don't know i just feel really happy today <laughs> i don't know i'm on some hype thing but anyway i really really wanted to discuss something that is that is close to my heart it's really close to my heart is how to be a bad bitch on a budget like i really want to start a series called broke with expensive taste i used to do it on my blog all the time because i'm somebody that likes you know nice things and Sometimes my bank account doesn't want to, you know, cooperate with that. So how to look good while still saving that dough, saving those coins, coins. High school goers, um, maybe you're starting a new job in September. I really wanted to just come and speak to you people on how to look good and how to save money. Like I've bitch i did my research <laughs> bitch i did my research okay i searched on google pinterest instagram twitter facebook everywhere i read books i read books to come and help you and share the love but nine tips today on how you can save money as a student and you don't even realize that you you can be saving this money out there buying full price why why are you buying full price b girl why are you buying full price no so point number one okay or trick tip whatever you want to call it number one. First thing is to look out for discounts like, i think it's been a hot minute since i've bought something full price like i do not buy things full price like that is not me like if you sign up to the newsletter they usually do give you money off of your first purchase so why not sign up people sign up you could be saving the money if you're a student you know you should be using your student card because you can get discount literally everywhere cinema leisure centers going out to eat to the shops online like you need to be using that student card because once that's gone be ha! girl girl once that's gone it is gone <laughs> you're gonna be crying when that student card leaves you be because i know i did <laughs> so you also can get an NUS card. Like, listen, I'm 22. I graduated nearly two years ago. I still have my NUS card. Now, you can go on NUS Extra. I'll link them down below. And you can get one of these. I think it's £12 for a year and for three years. I'm not sure, but I'll put it down below so you can check it out for yourself. And I got this in my last year. So when I was in third year, I got this. And I still can use it. It expires in 2018. 2018 and I still got this bad boy. This thing has saved my life. <laughs> I'm not joking. Like I used to live and you can get 10% off in the co-op, like co-op food. I used to live right next door to it, like literally down the road from a co-op. This thing saved my life. 10% off. 10% off. That's basically a drink, B. That's a drink somewhere. You were saving money to buy yourself a nice good cold drink. Mm. Simple. Go and get yourself an NU extra card. Like, I'm telling you, this thing is it's amazing and me and super drug like this this thing is amazing like it's so amazing i if i'm if my eyes are moving around it's because i'm so used to looking into the camera instead of looking at the viewfinder that is bugging me I, but so if my eyes are twitching i'm moving around and doing things i'm sorry so my next point is also to get yourself a nice loyalty card loyalty cards are everywhere like look i've got my club card b i'm ready to go you can save money anywhere like literally sign up for a loyalty card you are good to go sign up you don't have to pay anything yeah, but i would suggest getting loyalty cards to places you actually shop at because b let me tell you i have loyalty cards from way back when that i don't even use i don't even use them they just stay in there but things like my super drug card my super drug sees life Hmm, my super truck sees like. So another discount that you could also be getting is like sometimes we're we're living in a digital age and you can be like stores have apps now. So I know Misguided has one, I think Boohoo has one. And when you sign up to an app and you like purchasing things through the app, you also get money off. So that's even another better way to be saving money. So my second point is very I think this is the the most important point is to shop in the sale like if i can stress to you i need to stress this to 
you okay you need to be shopping in the sale i did a post like a few years ago in my blog called i lose shop in the sale because at that point i was like in second year being i'll be shopping in the sale and people just think you just got summer and winter are all like boxing day sales but there's like mid-season sales end of season sales like you need to be shopping in the sales basically that top that you wanted that was 15 pounds it will be discounted it will be discounted so why not just wait just be patient and wait you will have your drinks three is to visit discount stores like the discounted stores online i mean all that there's buying and sharing websites or apps as well i mean shops like depop where you could sell your clothes gumtree like gumtree there's plate there's things on gumtree that are free and all you have to do is go pick it up like that is a no-brainer like go and pick up something for free like all you need to do is be paying that oyster card 150 and you're good to go like i don't understand why you wouldn't i don't i, I, I don't know i don't know um there's also like ebay ebay is always a good one i mean i'll do a whole video about ebay dupes but i, I love me a dupe <laughs> i love me a dupe bitch <laughs> i do i love dupes so much like i there's this one gucci bag that i really want and then i saw a video on on, you, on youtube i don't remember what her name is but i'll link it down below and she 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 changed my life okay that bag literally looks exactly like the real thing and it's like literally pinky part of the price and i'm just thinking i'm gonna get me that bag like hmm listen ebay gumtree depop or even shops like tk maxx where they have discounted products in there like if you're looking for something a bit more designer label tk maxx gold label in there so if you've got uh, if you want something that's designer, you've been looking for a while, definitely check out TK Maxx or TJ Maxx as they say in America. And you'll find it for like the discounted price. Like, what is my hair doing? Like, oh, stop. Stop it. Stop. So number four is going to the supermarket. When you're doing your grocery shop, right? And most of the big supermarkets, Tesco, Sainsbury's, Asda, they have clothing lines in there. And I would say go in there and buy like, simple tops like tops that you can wear every day tops that don't have a season to it because it's just a nice simple top you know or a nice pair of trousers like i always go in there and buy like myself nice pair of leggings because these primark leggings out here just be destroying lives but if you go into tesco and i think tesco is one of the best there was a girl once i remember it was winter time and she had this beautiful red puffer jacket coat and I was like, girl, where did, you, where did you get it from? Where did you get it from? And she was like, oh yeah, I got it from Tesco. And I literally was like, the fuck you mean Tesco? What you mean Tesco? I was so amazed because like there's a coat that I have is quite similar. And mine was freaking designer, like was stupid amounts of money. And hers was like literally a teensy bit of the price. And I was just like, I need to go to Tesco. And I've never looked back going to a supermarket and getting those simple clothes instead of like, you know, looking for it elsewhere is literally like half the price and i have to stress that the quality is really really good like you can find things that are actually really good quality so point five i think i know i think this top trumps point four is charity shopping i your bitch here your girl your girl some girl flux over here loves a charity shop i love charity shops charity shops have helped me or thrift shops as you call it in america but charity shops have just helped my life like you don't understand and people may think oh uh, people may say oh charity shopping oh, second hand uh it's just where granny's going to shop it's like bitch you be you're just shopping in the wrong place basically that's what you be doing but charity shops have saved my life especially during uni when i didn't have money and i needed to be buying x y and z with my money and i was just like oh i need a new dress because i have to go out charity shop charity shop will help you i have coats i have full-blown winter coats that are from charity shop it's just they're just perfect i have to stress that my favorite charity shop is east end thrift shop i'm gonna do a whole i'm gonna do a whole video about the best um thrift shops and charity shops to shop in in london because there are some gems out there that are really good ones and east end thrift shop i'll tell you i have a i have two denim jeans jackets that i got there for a pound for 100 pennies things i've got from charity shops and they i just stress to you like people would be like giving me compliments and stuff thinking it's designer <laughs> cherry shop bitch <laughs> you need to go there okay cherry shop is number one i think in my mind so number six is borrowing clothes uh, when you're at uni and you're living in a house 
with your housemate so you're living in a shared accommodation and or I don't know and you've got nice housemates if you've got nice housemates or people that you vibe with at uni and let's say you're all going out and you don't have a nice top to wear with the with the jeans that you've got or you you've got you you really have just run out of stuff to wear to go out because you've worn it to death go and go and knock on your go and knock on your friend's door and be like can I, can I borrow that dress that you bought last week like can I borrow the dress and sometimes sometimes you'll be rejected okay sometimes they don't want to be giving you their nice things whatever that's fine but some housemates that I've had have literally given me like tops to wear nights out and the thing is vice versa like if people would always come to me for like a pair of shoes or something or a pair of heels i've got like i like you know i've got loads of heels like in my shoe collection video i'll link that down below plug and mini pairs of heels so i'm just like yeah why not and that way you don't even have this why you're not spending money you literally are borrowing other people's clothes and as long as you're nice about it and you give it back in the condition you bought it make sure you wash it though don't be nasty and don't be out here trying to borrow people's knickers don't do that like my fucking hair <laughs> point number seven is to be innovative like you can get a, a scarf a nice silk scarf from a charity shop and roll it up do a little nice knot in the middle you've got yourself a top you've got yourself a top for like a pound the no-brainers or you could if you've got a pair of old jeans and you want to like spruce them up a bit you know people you can frame trousers is so much in fashion right now just cut them off with a pair of fabric scissors grate the bottom you've got yourself a nice pair of jeans that look absolutely brand new you can basically get trend worthy clothes without actually going to the high street and buying it like it's such a no-brainer like for someone like me yeah i studied fashion so i can make clothes but even if you can't you can even get embroidery patches that you can just iron on like literally you can iron them on and so there's no there's no sewing required like you could like even have like get a pom-pom trim from your local haberdashery haberdashery <laughs> your local haberdashery store or craft shop and you could just like add you know a trim of pom-pom onto your like favorite bag and boom you're done like you're sorted there's no need to spend stupid amounts of money especially for things that are just trend based because you know trends come and My go my last like. point is to plan your outfit as a student okay maybe in first year you have a bit more time but b come and don't matter what you're studying come second third year or if you're doing four years or something you do not have time not even as a student just as people in general people we don't have time to be sitting here being like i'm gonna wear this on monday and then and then i'm gonna wear it no you don't have the time so i would just stress you might be tired af like you might be so tired and you've got so much work to do stress you need stress so just pick up the clothes that you're going to wear the next day literally will save you 10 minutes because everyone likes a bit of extra 10 minutes sleep so literally just get the stuff ready and put it out on your table that way you're saving yourself so much time and energy and don't get me wrong like i understand i was a third year student as well third year is a lot of work like literally it's a lot of work but I get it like some days I woke up and when I was in third year and I literally would just have like three hours sleep and I would just reach for a top I literally would reach for anything in my sleep and I would be bounced out the door I get that but sometimes that's that wasn't every day but you have to just make sure you plan your outfit it's so much easier that way you don't go into uni looking crusty as hell I feel like I've talked my own ear off really so that was my nine tips I hope there were nine freaking hope it was nine anyway those were my nine tips if you have any tips and tricks please share them with me because i because i'm not lying to you like at uni i lived through those nine those nine steps or so even when if you're going to high school you're lucky because you have to wear uniform therefore you don't have to be stressing about what to wear but i lived by those nine tips bro if you have any other ones please let me know follow me on facebook instagram twitter snapchat i'll link that all down below um my instagram is at single flux it's quite easier to remember if you have like any of the suggestions or videos you'd like me to do i hope you enjoyed this video because this is going to be part of the broke with expensive taste series because you know your girl likes to look good and not spend money on it There's a nice little button down there called the subscribe button i don't i don't know i mean you can go on ahead and hit that button. Go ahead and hit that button, people. Go, go.
go go press subscribe make sure you like comment and subscribe on this video and thank you for joining me on this series that i've started because i know people out there don't like to spend money because i don't like to spend money a lot of money on looking good like i like to save my money not for bigger goals that i have so if you like this video let me know let your friends know about my tips like you don't even have to say it came from single flux please just let them know because they're using their student they're not even using their student card that's basic b that's actually basic use your student card please and thank you for watching this video and i hope you liked it i hope you liked it i hope i don't know what that accent was but peace